Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to create a disco. Uh, I'll be creating a series on how to cr uh, create a disco box. This is a new series. So in order to start, you need to create. You need to uh, uh, create a package in your IDE. I'm using IntelliJ. Uh, you can use whatever IDE you want. And then once you've done that, you want to create a, a build or gradle. And then in that build or gradle, you will want to. Uh, uh, I have this code so you know uh, I'll have this in the uh, you can either get this code from the source code uh, which which we provide in the description below you can go to my server and run the command tutorial grid slash tutorial gradle and it'll send my bot will send you the, the gradle with all the latest versions so after version yeah after that uh, you'll want to go create a, a, for, a package called SR, SRC main java and if you have a github username then you just you can just do iod github dot real yourself it might last my github name but if you don't i recommend just doing your dot dot com dot your name and then after that you want to go and create a new class called bot and then once you've created the bot class in the bot class you'll want to uh create a, a main method private i mean public Static, static void main string of and then in here you want to do gda which basically is the main gda class for the the gda basically stands for java developer development uh, a java java development api and gda then gda equals gda builder which will basically build the boss like run the bot everything create default and then we before we um, uh, write anything in here, we're gonna create we're gonna create a class called bot config. And in the bot config class, using the using my config library which we imported uh, into our Gradle here, we're go we're gonna register in order to use it out in order to basically put the value in the dot e dot env which the bot will take and run so so protected because you also access it none the other package protected static string token token return return config the first one don't get string in capital has to be in capital token and then you'll do what config dot token and then once you've done that you'll do you can either you can just build you just put uh, into math build or you can set a status activity i'm just going to set uh this uh, set the status set the status as uh Example, I mean online. Online. Also. Oh. Oh, again. So, uh, I think I've forgotten it. On certain new chip. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't know. And then we'll go set activity. Oh, we we'll build it. Oh, it's need after the next. And now we want to create a, a want to create a, a command handler. So you do GDA the await ready because so, uh, with uh, with my uh, uh, command command handler system, you it will need to get all the guilds and just add uh, and see if it's uh, the commands guild only or not, and and then you will do register the command. With this tutorial, I'll be doing uh, guild-only commands because it's faster to run, uh, and it's not faster, but 
like it appears faster instead of having to having to wait, wait one hour with uh, commands which are available for all servers. And we're gonna uh, uh, this command handler. So we're gonna need to create this method, but might as well just register it first. Uh, it requires GDA, GDA dot get guild guild by ID, and then in the bot in the bot country class, we have to do protected static. Also a string. Guild, just call guild ID. Now also I will return config dot get string guild ID, but not uh, it, uh it has to be in capitals. Guild underscore ID, and then we'll just retrieve guild ID in bot config dot guild ID. Okay, now we have to create the command handler class. So just create a new class. Command handler. And then this will extend call slash command handler. Call slash command handler extends this now adapter which is used to register the the method the to register the commands. But that's registered in the call slash command handler, so we don't need to register it. And if you want an example, you can just see, you can have a look at example command handler, which shows you an example of a command. We're just going to copy this. We don't need this example command part. When we want to add our command, which we'll create now, then you can, uh, uh, instead of example command, your command name. So I'm just going to remove this for the meanwhile. Uh, for this, uh, this will be. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this. By the way, uh, this course slash command handler uh, is imported from uh, uh, the JDA.basic from my library. Which is I order GLB so just go about so it's nothing to do with GDA. Uh, so yeah. Alright, once you've done that, uh just remove this. You'll want to create your first a uh, create a command. So create a new package. And then this package will be called uh, uh commands and then just create a new command called ping command which will respond with pong. Uh, we need to extend commands, basically import everything we need. So uh, this is also in my library, nothing to do with GD. I just made it. Uh, this makes your life easier, uh, and and you don't have to uh, make your own. You'll have to implement slash command event. You also have to create a constructor with IntelliJ. With IntelliJ, you just you know, create one for you. We don't need all these parameters and just get rid of it. Oh, what's happening here? Just get rid of this and just delete all this. So, this is the name of the command. So, it'll be ping. What the command is upon, or we'll just say will reply with pong, and if it's guild only true, and if it's on only false, uh, be all not. It's not on only. If it's on only, then we can only be used by the provided own ID. I'll show you how to uh, how to register that in a later video. Right now, we we'll just set to zero. So here we're gonna do slash command dot reply. Uh, pong, and then just queue it so it can actually run, and then we'll uh, add, uh, just add not no, and then the bot class will import that. We'll add exception so it can work, 
and then in the command handle you actually have to register the actual method actual command so handler dot add new I'm sorry new pin command it's gonna result in error because it's actually the command is protected we'll just change it to public and once that once you have done that everything should work so to test this we're going uh, uh, to test this you'll need a, a token so I've got my token it's already registered already created dot env file so I've got my guild login my token but I'm going to show you how to get your token so in order to get your token you'll have to go to uh, discord developer application and if you don't have a bot you just press new application right the name of the bot and then you, you'll be shown to a screen like this blank with the name of your bot and then you just press bot and it'll say if you want to create a new bot or not I'll say yes and then you'll just create this and just this is where you copy the token and in order to add the bot to your server all you have to do is just um, uh, go to this page or auth and go to URL generator and just uh, click bot and command and just click send message because you don't need any perms right now and just copy this link and paste it into a, a new tab and you will add your bot so back to the IDE uh, since I've added it I'm just going to run the run the bot and hope everything works uh i will be making future episodes uh i'm planning to create moderation show you how to create a moderation command and then if uh if it all was i will if it all goes well i will show you how to create a database and more complex stuff and then uh, when jd5 is released i'll be updating it to it so there might be some slight changes to the way uh, the commands are structured especially with uh, the more complex stuff so now the bot should be online yeah as you can see the bot is playing hello on this right this slash ping by the way if you do uh, yeah, global commands it will take longer then everything works so that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed and learned something and if you need any help join my discord server link will be in the description below or comment and I'll reply Peace. Bye.